Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. And the messages are going to be general, all right? But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or possibly one of your person signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see. What are the main energies for Scorpio? Second half of March. All right, we have vibrations and we have refocus. Okay, I think someone else had this as well. I think it was Capricorn, but I'm not sure. All right, okay, so it feels like, oh, you... You might be shifting. You might be feeling a shift um, that's happening in your vibration, which is causing you to kind of refocus your energy on something else or just feeling just a little bit different. I see it as something very positive, actually. I feel like your frequency is changing. You're vibing um, higher than you were before. And this refocus, it doesn't mean that you are not focusing on a particular um, relationship, for example, even though it could be that, but I'm seeing it more as refocusing in the way of your thinking patterns, right? Like just um, thinking it from a more positive perspective than before. So let's see. Or even when it comes to a particular connection, you might be focusing on something different in, within the connection. Uh, focusing uh, maybe on something more positive rather than seeing everything from a more negative um, perspective. But let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of March. All right, so for your situation, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by the Temperance. Oh, okay. It feels like there might be something that's happening really fast or there might be um, some impatience here. And so it might be, it might feel a little bit difficult at the moment to like slow down um, or to kind of temper yourself. Um, possibly within a connection, this could be you, this could be somebody else. Could be the both of you. We'll see. Recent past, we have the hanged man. Near future, we have the sun. Okay, beautiful. I'm happy to see this because it feels... Um, a lot more positive, actually, than the readings I've been doing for Scorpio in the in the past. <laughs> so this is actually very very pleasant. Um, all right, yeah. So it may have it may feel like in the past there was a standstill, kind of like hanging, kind of like things not really going anywhere, things feeling like they're not moving. And like I said, right now it might feel like it's exactly the opposite. Like you just feel, whether it's within a connection or just for yourself, that you're moving really, really quickly and you're having a hard time to kind of just um, slow down a little bit. Ne near future, we have the sun. This is whatever this is. It doesn't matter. It's leading to something beautiful. See, for your energy, we have the page of pentacles. For them, we have the ace of swords. For you, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, interesting, two pages for you. For them, we have the Five of Wands. And potential outcome here, we have the Four of Swords. Okay, kind of a, a little similar to Cancer, actually. Um, you're learning a lot, and I do feel like with this refocus card in combination with the two pages, you it's like you're seeing things from a new perspective. As I said, you're you're feeling like there's something new, that this is a new path that you might be on. There's something that you feel like you are learning and I feel like you are excited actually about this new, this new path. All right, your person, um, they do still have a little bit of a, a struggle here, right? If there's somebody here that you're dealing with, we'll see when we clarify, we'll get more information. But for the potential outcome, there's a lot of healing here and I feel like it's, um, I'm seeing this actually in a positive way, that it is some kind of a break and possibly, okay, whatever this intense energy is right now that's pushing you forward and you're trying to either heal that or to temper that, I feel like that is going to happen, all right? But it's going to be good either way. So let's see. Yeah, so if you feel like you're in a situation right now where it's very difficult, <clears throat> this... 
this may or may not be your reading, okay? Because, I mean, timelines are relevant, all right? This is supposedly for the second half of March, but it could be a little further down, so it could be something that is coming up for you. But if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's it's probably just not for your situation, all right? And you might want to watch one of your one of your other signs. All right, let's see the Eight of Wands with Temperance. Oh, the Chariot and the Three of Cups. Wow. All right, that really feels like something happened quickly, a coming together or possibly a reunion that just kind of happened out of the blue or just suddenly or just very, very quickly. All right, because we have both the Eight of Wands and the Chariot here. That's really quick movement. So it could be, maybe it's even something new. All right, it doesn't have to be something from the past, but I do feel that for some of you, it might be a, um, a connection from the past and for others of you it might be something new that just feels like it started very um, suddenly and, is, and things are happening a little um, quickly whatever it is I feel like you are you are enjoying it <laughs> you are enjoying it but I mean temperance is here for a reason all right there might be a little bit of this need to just you know maybe slow down just a little bit just so that things don't get thrown off like, you know, um, off course in the in the rush of things. Let me see the hanged man in the recent past. All right, we have the 10 of pentacles, the three of wands and the four of pentacles. All right, so in the in the past, okay, there was a connection that you may have been waiting for. It may be this one that we're talking about now. It could be something else, okay? Like I said, for some of you, this is something new, and for others of you, it's something from the past. Either way, in the past, it felt like things were not moving and that you were waiting for a commitment that just wasn't coming through, and I feel like you may have been holding on to that <clears throat> for quite some time here, all right, with the hanged man. Um, and yeah, now all of a sudden, boom. Something's happening. So let me see your energy here. Let's see the Page of Pentacles. All right, we have <clears throat> the Two of Wands, the Hierophant, and also the Two of Swords. All right, so things seem to be happening fast, and I feel like you are on this new this new path and and you're curious to learn more about what is happening right now within this connection but I feel like at the same time there are certain things you don't know and <clears throat> you might still have your doubts almost like feeling like is this really it <clears throat> is this really going to be um, long term and is it going to be you know serious and secure and stable so even though you're curious about it and you're open to it, you're still having some, some hesitations, some doubts. And I feel like on the one hand, yeah, you're, you're moving quickly, but on the other hand, you're trying to kind of keep your cool about it and trying to ground yourself, which I think is, <clears throat> is good, actually. Let me see the page of wands. All right, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Five of Swords. Okay, this is this is really interesting because I can I can sense the excitement here. All right, like this shift in in vibrations, as I said, um, <clears throat> refocusing, you know, thinking more positive. But then it feels like you kind of go back and forth. Like it's like you realize that you might be getting carried away, or you feel like you might be getting carried away in excitement, and so you try to. Um, to tame yourself almost because you have both this grounding energy trying to stay grounded and then at the same time you're feeling this passion and this excitement because you feel like this is something that you would really want this is something that you feel you've been wishing for something like this but then we have the five of swords with that so it's kind of like you're you're not trusting either the connection or your own um, judgment on this <clears throat> So now I can see why you're trying to find that balance and trying to pace yourself. So let's see, let's see what's going on with this person then. 
Let me clarify the Ace of Swords. I mean, I do see with this Ace of Swords, it does also represent honesty. So let's see. <clears throat> All right, we have the Six of Cups and we have the Six of Wands. Two Sixes. I feel like this is a special um, connection that you have with this person, even if it's something new. There's definitely something here. Um, and I do feel like this person, if this is somebody from your past, this is somebody who has missed you a lot and was feeling this nostalgia for you. And I feel like the, their intentions are in the right place, all right? Their intentions are in the right place. Um, there is something that is troubling them here. There is some kind of a conflict going on with them. Poss it could even involve other people. We'll see when we clarify that. But I do see that their intentions are actually pretty positive um, towards you and that they would want to, they want this to be successful with you. Let me get one more here. The Emperor, yeah. All right, what more confirmation do we need? Um, it could be, though, for some of you, this is just like a little extra side note. It's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, you might want to just be a little bit cautious if this person seems to be a little bit overbearing, okay? Like if this person might have a little bit of an ego and, you know, they, they might be a little bit... Um, just a little bit stern sometimes when it comes to getting their own way. All right, so if this is somebody that you've known from the past and, and you feel like they had that tendency, that could still be showing up, okay? So do just, just be mindful of that. Just keep that in the back of your mind, all right, is the message that I'm getting. Um, for some of you where, where you might already know this about this person, okay? But even so, I, I, I do feel like their intentions are, are in the right place when it comes to what they want from you. So let's see what that Five of Wands is about then. Let's see. Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? All right. We have the King of Cups. We have Strength. And we have the Three of Swords. Oh, okay. Okay, so it could be that this person has, they may have recently, um, if this is someone new for you, or someone that you haven't seen in, in a long while, it could be that they are coming out of a difficult situation. It could even be another relationship that caused them some pain, that hurt them, okay? It, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, although I do feel that whatever this connection was, I mean, it could even be a parent, a sibling, I mean, it could be anything. I feel like there was a lot of emotions there, all right? There's a lot of emotions attached to a situation that they might actually still be dealing with, although we do have strength, so I do feel like they are able to manage this, successfully I feel like they are coming out of it but you might just want to keep in mind that this person might still be going through some kind of a pain and it might even be related to you all right if this is someone from your past it could be that this person is wounded by you from the past whether you realize it or not okay again it, that's not going to be for all of you that's going to be for some of you you would probably know Okay, well, you should know. I mean, you would know what has happened and if it is something that may have hurt them, okay? So if something like that happened in the past with this person, this person is still carrying that pain and they're trying to overcome it. So that might be a little bit of a um, block or a barrier um, or just maybe just a bit of a challenge in the connection, in this coming back together, okay? If not, if this is a new person, then it could be that they're coming out of another relationship that was painful, um, whether it be romantic or not. But in that case, I do feel that for the most part, it will have been a romantic relationship. All right. Let's see the sun for the near future. Because things look pretty good. Things look pretty good um, coming up. 
All right, we have the King of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups. All right, okay. So yeah, overall, there's happiness here. There's success here. There's, I feel like there is, there is honesty, okay? And I do feel like this person is somebody who wants a commitment, okay? Because I know that you are kind of, you know, um, iffy on that. Like you're not, you're not really sure. What I'm seeing here is that this person is showing up very stable as this King of Pentacles. However, there is, again, there's this Five of Cups, which I feel is related to this Three of Swords here, okay, from, from this person's past. There might still be a little bit of sadness on their side. And if it's not sadness, it could even be regret, okay? If it's something from the past that has happened between the two of you, that might be creating some kind of a... Um, just some kind of a challenge right now to overcome. It it could be that there is regret either on your side or on their side or just feeling maybe a little bit of guilt. So that might keep things, um, that might just be a little bit of a challenge here. That's all. I don't feel like it's going to be a, a major challenge. Not when you have the sun as, as the major energy and we also have the vibrations with refocus. So I feel like these are just minor, minor things here for the most part. All right, so let's see the Four of Swords. Worst case scenario, the truth, you, even if, let's just say that this person is not stable, even though I am seeing that for the most part, for most of you it is. If they're not, you will find out about it very, very soon. Okay, you will find out about it very, very soon regardless, all right? The sun represents truth, as does the ace of swords. So you will find out the truth about this person in the near future. All right, let's see the four of swords. All right, we have the four of cups, we have temperance, and we do only get one more, the ten of wands. All right. So here's the thing, more, there's more healing. Again, this is reminding me a little bit of, a little bit of Cancer's reading. Um, there's a lot of healing, okay, either way. If you, if you find out that the truth about this person is that they don't want a commitment, for example, you're going to heal from that just fine. You, you know, it's, you're going to realize that, you know, this is not something I wanted anyway. It's just going to be too difficult for me. It's going to be too much of a burden and too much of a hassle for me to even deal with it. And you will be able to come out of that. And I feel like you will come out of that fine, all right, feeling very healed because you're not going to want to just settle for something that, that doesn't suit you. All right, so that's for that particular situation if you find that out. If not, which I feel for the most of you, it's going to be that, you know, this person is stable and does want commitment. Again, there's going to be a healing, a lot of healing, and things are going to feel more peaceful. Um, when it comes to whatever, whatever these challenges were, okay? Um, whatever it is that this person has been carrying, from their past, that pain, whatever might be causing a little bit of sadness, depression, or discontentment, that that's all workable. That's all um, going to be healed, and it's because you know the vibrations are just shifting right now, and they're going to be higher, okay, than they have been. All right, so. And that's the second time we're getting we're getting temperance, okay? So what you feel like you might be struggling with right now, just trying to pace yourself, like that is the outcome here. You will be able to do that and you will know the truth about this situation. It's all going to come to light. And either way, you are going to be just fine. All right, Scorpio. So let's get your final oracle message, if this resonated. Let's see. have two. We have true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Okay, so like I said, for the most for the for most of you, I feel like this is going to be something beautiful. Um, and we also have love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. All right, so two very, very love oriented 
um, oracle messages here. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching Scorpio. Much love.